Hey guys, Jason Messer here, and thanks for checking out CheatCC.com, where we enhance your gaming experience. Now, a couple weeks ago, I was invited to take a sneak peek at the latest expansion for Saints Row 4, which includes a ton of new weapons, missions, and more. Now, I gotta admit, it did look pretty awesome back then, but the real question is, did it deliver in the way we were hoping? Well, let's take a look and find out. Here's Cheat Code Central's video review of Get Out of Hell. Ever since Saints Row the Third hit, the series has accepted the fact that it's not Grand Theft Auto, and we've taken them for exactly what they are. Solid, enjoyable little adventures with nothing too heavy. You're not saving the world and you're not fighting the oncoming apocalypse, you're simply taking care of your crew no matter what the cost, even if that means venturing to hell and f***ing everything up. Such is the case with Saints Row Get Out of Hell. Here you'll be thrown into the underworld after the president is nabbed by Satan to marry his daughter Jezebel. Although once Gat hits the nether realm, it seems Jezebel no longer wants to marry the president and instead wants to marry the most ruthless mortal she has ever met, Johnny Gat. Gat and Kenzie will hook up with old enemies of the saints as well as previous saints themselves in order to usurp the lord of the underworld and get the president back to the mortal plane. Oh, and uh, did we mention there's also a musical number? See, that's the beauty of the Saints games. There's always this weird line in which you think they're never going to cross. Let's give them superpowers? Check. Make them the president? Check. Allow them to hit people in the face with purple dildos? I mean, why the f*** not? Continuing on this train of thought, the developers decided the best way to give you an advantage in Hell was to actually equip players with the broken halo of Lucifer. So yeah, don't expect to win any friends with the folks over at the Westboro Baptist Church anytime soon. The Halo will allow you to sprint super fast, just like you were able to do in Saints Row 4, but the real change in gameplay comes when you strap on Lucifer's angelic wings. Now right off the bat, the option to fly is something you'd assume wouldn't quite fit here, but it does, and it makes the game more enjoyable during your various side quests Johnny will have to perform in order to finish his mission. Oh, and it kind of looks pretty badass too. Just like with Saints Row 4, you'll need to continuously upgrade to truly open the game's full potential. Gaining your bonuses early on, just like anything else, will allow you to breeze through various missions without a care. For example, at one point you're tasked with saving souls that are literally falling into hell. Now, if you've not already taken a playful route through hell doing various other side quests first, this is a mission that may make you want to pull your hair out. Simple advice, enjoy hell just a little bit before really diving into the meat and potatoes of this story. There's also a fairly eclectic roster of characters you can team with, some posing little question as to why they're actually in hell. Faces such as Vlad the Impaler, Blackbeard the Pirate, and the twins from Saints Row III are pretty self-explanatory. The shocker, though, had to be William Shakespeare. I mean, apparently he sold his soul to be famous and then became this ruthless dick once he got to hell, but then wound up becoming Hades' equivalent of Casey Kasem at one of hell's prime nightclubs, so all's well that ends well, I suppose. Graphically, this is a solid-looking title. Nothing too glamorous, everything just seems like a typical Saints Row game, but with a bit more polish. We think you'll agree this is the most pleasing hell experience you can have, if there is such a thing, and we hope the day never comes where Saints Row feels the need to finally grow up. The stylized, fun approach to the series is really what's helped it define its own path. In the end, you may ask yourself, should I pick up the latest chapter of Saints Row? We say the real question should be, why the hell not? The Saints games have continued to blaze their own trail, and if you've enjoyed the recent experiences they've thrown at us, there's simply no reason not to get this one. It contains lots of gameplay, awesome new features, and probably the most enjoyable time anyone could spend in the realm of the damned. That's why we're giving Saints Row Get Out of Hell a demonic 4 out of 5. And that is Cheat CC's video review of Get Out of Hell. I'm Jason Messer. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like and the share buttons, subscribe to our channel, and as always, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter.